EKU men's basketball hoping to wrap up their four-game homestand on a high note last night. Mayo and Company hosting in-state rival Moorhead State, and this would be the 189th meeting between these two teams. The Colonels lead the series 108-80 to and would come out on fire. Mayo gets things started nailing the long ball. Tay Weaver sees Mayo chilling in the same spot, and he delivers an encore. Zach Charles drives hard but finishes with some touch, and Weaver joins the three-party from the wing to cap an 11-0 run. Moorhead would then go on an 8-2 run of their own to cut into the EKU lead. Mayo has seen enough, feeds DeAndre Dishman, who goes strong to the rack. Dishman will then get the Eagles to leave the back door open for Z-Chuck, and he rocks the rim. Freshman Peyton Broughton hits the trifecta to put Eastern up eight. MSU would close out the first half on a 15-5 run to take a two-point advantage into halftime. Colonel's first possession out of the break, and freshman Jacquez Hobbs shows off his range, putting EKU back in front. Mayo working down low, looking to extend the lead, and he does just that. Dishman will then split the defenders and knock down the fadeaway for two of his 13 to put Eastern up five. The Eagles would spread their wings and go on a 27 run to claim an eight-point advantage. Colonel start to rally as Broughton hits this three ball from the corner. Hobbs on the drive, kicks it to Weaver, and just like Broughton, he buries it. Hobbs from the top of the key and the freshman rattles it home. Colonel's up one. Moorhead back in front trying to extend the lead, but Weaver comes up with the steal. He'll move it ahead to Charles, and Zichuk puts it off the back of the iron for the sixth lead change. The senior tallies 15 points. Less than two minutes left, tied at 63. Mayo right down Broadway, off the window. The main attraction logs a game-high 18 points. Knotted up at 72, Hobbs gets the rock with nine seconds left, and my man goes coast to coast for the lay-in, putting Eastern ahead with 3.8 seconds remaining. He finishes with 15 points, and Eastern Kentucky comes away with a thrilling 75-73 victory. We talked to Hobbs after the game. It feels really good because we've been trying, we've been trying. It's like when we get there, we always fall short at game. But coach is like, our luck's gonna change, so just keep trying to keep fighting and break this gonna break through at some point. So I feel like tonight was night it broke through. So we're gonna use this big time because we, we feel like it's breaking through. We know what we can what we gotta do at the end of the game to close our games to win. So I feel like it's gonna do a lot because now we got a little confidence going into the next couple games. We ain't had a win in so long, so it feels good. So Coach McHale and his squad will be back in action on Thursday when they head to Nashville to take on the Belmont Bruins. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.